Hello then, folks. Welcome back to an episode of Glory Hunter with me, that's Benji FM. I've been listening to your feedback. I've made some notes. Let's talk through what's inside the book. Kabai is poison, one of you said. Which, that was harsh. A lot of people whom you should sell Kabai, of course. Welcome back, viewers. My name's Ben. We've talked about the tactics uh, involved. We're playing our Champions League final group stage game later on, where third is wrapped up. But I thought you'd... Barcelona, innit? It's Barcelona. I thought you'd want to have a, have a look. I mean, we finished third. We've, we've completed that little mission. Um, but let's talk about what's gone on since, and then let's talk about our tactical chat. So we get a free hit against Barcelona. That should be quite enjoyable for me. And of course, Barcelona is still one of those teams that I'm thinking about in the future, maybe, we uh, we maybe go to. So I want I want to see what, what they've got going on, basically, viewers. Since we've last met then, since that game against Dortmund, of course, a 4-1 defeat to Paris Saint-Germain. Uh, we played a bit of a rotated side, and that rotated side got... Handily beaten, both of our central midfielders got sent off, so good times, viewers. Uh, follow that up with a 3-0 win against Regensburg and Werder Bremen as well, beating 3-2. Uh, so we're third in the Bundesliga table, which isn't too bad. And recently, Bayern Munich have beaten Schalke to bring them back into the conversation. They were running away with it a little bit, uh, so that's really good news. We are now three points behind then. Our goal difference is still a bit of an issue. And with Bayern Munich to come later on, a massive game in the context of our season. But let's talk tactics then, for the first time ever. Let's, let's talk tactics. Yesterday, we did a bit of tactical chat. So, things I've noted down... Um, this, this formation doesn't work and no one could, well, not doesn't work. It's a struggle. A lot of people suggested that we should go back to the 4-2-3-1 system that I've used, of course, at Inter and at Arsenal, which I, I kind of get. Lots of hate for this man. I mean, Johan, <laughs> Johan? Different Kabai, but that's, a, that's his brother. Cousin, distant cousin. Uh, Xavier Kabai, we, we brought him in. The problem is a lot of people said, just sell him. Um, if, there's a, if there's a bid of above 80 million, we'll sell him. If not, then probably not. And I don't think at this point, viewers, there will be. And also, I don't want to just give up on him. I want to try and figure out where his best role is, how we can get him playing better. Uh, we had a few suggestions, actually, for things we can do with him. A few people saying we should play him as a Roman playmaker. Uh, a few people saying get him right in behind the strikers. So we're playing a bit of a rotated 11 today, uh, it should be said, against Barcelona. We're, we're not going for this as much as we think the Bayern Munich game is that bit more important. So it's rotated, but in terms of what players are actually doing, it's, it's what I want it to be. This position is really interesting. Lots of people saying it doesn't really work. Uh, so my attitude to that is, well, let's not really play it like an attacking midfielder. Let's play it as sort of a third striker who plays a little bit deeper. Of course, we could play a deep line forward in this role. I, I do prefer the shape of having someone slightly deeper, especially defensively. I think it makes pressing slightly easier, especially when you've got that triangle pressing together. You don't really get that if they're in more of a line. It, it doesn't happen as effectively, I've found. A lot of people saying we should bring back wingers, which... Could be fine if we had some wingers. I've not bought or prepared for wingers. Um, I guess the only saving grace there is 60 million in the bank. We're not too far away from January with the winter break just around the corner. Maybe that's something that we look to do. If we can bring in two world-class wingers, I'll certainly have a look. Then maybe that is a fix to our problems. Uh, a few people are saying that we should maybe go to a three at the back and play uh, with wing backs. And, and the wing backs are basically key to everything. A lot of people are saying that's the, that's the basically the crux to all of this. My worry is that last year that we were almost, it, it was strange. We had a lot of the ball. We didn't score enough goals. Our chance creation from wing back was good, but it just meant everywhere else had less focus on it. Maybe playing those those guys slightly further forward, maybe having them even in this sort of position um, in the future is, is a way to go. I don't want to do it quite yet because I, I've actually quite enjoyed some of the defensive stability we've had this year. And I think having those wing, wing backs slightly less attacking has given us that. So we're trying to find the balance still, viewers. Uh, we are changing Kabai's roll up uh, in this centre position to, to run wide with the ball. That might be uh, a little bit of a fix to it. Give us that more sort of natural width, force him to do that a little bit more. And it may well create space in the middle, especially for players like Omar. Uh, Fliss has moved to a box to box. You'll notice that the double Mazala has sort of gone. Fliss really likes that role, and I think it will maybe give us a little bit more balance in the middle as well. Of course, in this role, he's not going to be quite as maybe attacking. I feel like Mazala's quite an attacking role, whereas a box to box will defend as much as they'll attack. And he's pretty decent defensively as well. So I don't want to lose that really. I don't want to be doing that job all on his own in the middle especially when we're giving Kabai a little bit more license to kind of do whatever he wants so there may be positions where this sort of comes alongside Kessie at the back but at the same time can support further forward he's, he's that good that I, I, I back him 18 stamina on the lads we like that a lot so I made a good point that from this position we can't really bottle it so that's fair enough tick, I'll tick that one off 
And one other thing that I've done, we've got quite a lot of good technical players, especially in advanced areas, even Omar uh, Bayaz that we brought in uh, for, on loan for, for the season from Valencia. All of these guys, like Kabai, like Fris, like Chris Turl, of course, are all very technical. So I'm playing at a slightly quicker tempo. Uh, it was pointed out as well that if we're playing a, a narrow formation, it, when we're attacking, we don't necessarily need to be very narrow in that. And it might give everyone a little bit more space to work. We've, again, we've got so many good technical players, good vision, good passing. We might as well try and use that a little bit and give those players a little bit more license uh, to have a, a, a part of the pitch all to themselves you look at the way uh, our tactics are lined up here if we just get off that there and bring on the analysis you can see lots of areas are covered it's just these areas further forward that aren't going to be attacked quite so much so our attack definitely still focusing through the middle which when you play a diamond is kind of the plan anyway so i guess we're sort of st we're still experimenting which is tricky when you want to try and win three trophies but that said we are still competitive we're going into the Europa league and uh, the title was still only three points off the top so things to be positive about victor hugo's got five league goals as well buzzing uh, getting into this game though, Bremer and Kleber both sent off in our last game against PSG. Amarilla, uh, Palomeque is, is injured as well. Tielemans isn't registered. Sorry, Amarilla isn't registered, it should be said, because uh, he had a big injury. It didn't really make sense. He would only be available for this game. Uh, Morato still injured as well, and, and Masayuki not really fit for this one. So we've got a few injury concerns. The bench is very strong, and uh, we go into this game then. Looking for something against Barcelona, but testing really the waters for the game coming up against Bayern Munich. Now, you might say, viewers, this is probably the worst preparation for a game against Bayern when you're trying something slightly new. Um, team wise, then, as I say, we're playing like a rotated, it's sort of a, it's not the B team, it's the B plus team, I would say. Victor Hugo's in there, Kabai's in there. Sh I'll turn it in there. Yeah, we're fine. They've got Joao Felix up front, a player that I had in the, the streamer showdown. Actually, oh, actually, speaking of the streamer showdown, uh, we stream FM, who's sort of a collective channel, uh, Dave as a party, a few of you may recognise the name, um, has done a, a video going over the, the streamer showdown. It's sort of a 25 minute video uh, summary up the entire weekend. I was going to try and do something similar, but Dave's done a pretty good job. So I'll link that in the description. It was where eight creators took each other on in a, a live stream format with one person crowned the winner. Your boy. Did pretty well so get over there and check it out i'll leave a link to say in the description all right a little bit of tactical chat yesterday's video was quite quite it wasn't as long as i thought it was going to be it was 12 minutes so today's will be longer so hopefully you, you want that and he's always telling me she wishes it was longer so i guess that's what she means bit of blue there for the dads a little bit of blue for the you know all right barcelona the first team to attack five minutes in ball to the back post and clement's done well he's not played too much for me he's played four games this season all in the champions league conceded five not kept a clean sheet so We've not made it easy for him. To be fair, though, he has played against the likes of PSG at Barcelona on quite regular occasion. Also, Fabio Silva plays for this team, of course, a man that we had before and sold on and has now ended up at Barcelona. So, clearly, I made some good choices. All right, really what we're looking for, and it's hard to tell, really, in the key highlights, necessarily. I, I watched the Regensburg game, actually, uh, playing on extended viewers. I know. Look at me. Goodbye, though. On the ball. Finds Victor Hugo. The knockdown, not so good. And goodbye there. Interesting. He pressed the goalkeeper there from miles away, which I'm not sure I like. But has cut the ball out again. Finds Victor Hugo. And the ball is bouncing around all over the place. And uh, now it's going to be Barcelona to bring the ball forward. A lovely switch of play. Blimey. To pick that pass. Joao Felix. That's just how good these boys are, I guess. Barcelona, we're not a Champions League contender. That is clear, especially when you're in a group such as this. You're not even going to get through. You can't even cause upsets later down the line. I'd, as much as I would have planned to finish third, when I got these two teams, I felt like it was probably going to naturally happen anyway. Our squad really still isn't strong enough to be a contender in the same way that Arsenal and Inter were. So, um, yeah, shout out to Barcelona. That was pretty smooth this pass here from Traore he's, he times the run brilliantly I think he plays off the back of Kanga and uh, yeah Felix with a great finish we're still positive though I'm going to be interested to see how much possession we have so far 60% we're keeping a lot of the ball and chance creation so far has been all right I can kind of accept it as uh, Barca come forward again a little bit fortunate shots flying in all over the place still 1-0 again I'm not really bothered in the result so much here I'm interested in how many chances we have how many shots we end up having possessions obviously a big one as well and um yeah, so far, I've got to say, half an hour into this game, uh, I'm, I'm quite happy. as They're, they're forward again, Bar, so they are a danger, viewers, as... Well, Clement's let that one in, viewers, which is obviously... I'll write that down. Clement is average. Some scathing attacks, by the way, the comments on Kabai. I mentioned it before. Some of them, there's a real hatred because he's let me down. And I, I can only think that's the support of me. He's dived there without moving. That's a skill, viewers. Palmer State of Emergency going on here, viewers. It's... Um, I don't, know, I don't know what the solution is. I, I, I keep saying it. I've ordered the headband. I don't know if it'll fit my head. Is the is the biggest issue? Got quite a sizable head, viewers. Um, yeah, it's been it's been a problem my whole life. But hopefully, hopefully it'll be fine. As uh, Melody, this there knocks down to Victor Hugo. Does brilliantly well. Plays it over, and we've scored. We've got a goal. Chance creation. 
Tick, viewers. Cre create a little box. Tick that off. Good stuff. Look at me with a notepad. Watching Football Manager with a notepad. Who'd have thought? Who'd have th I've, I'm growing up, viewers. Omar goes through and a really good finish. Keeper nearly gets a finger to it. Well, maybe does, but doesn't do enough to keep it out. And, uh, well, there we are then. Playing that shallow striker role. Ran beyond the strikers. Victor Hugo dropped a little deeper. And 2-1 at half time is not bad. I'm going to take heart from this. Of course, we need to take this into the Bayern Munich game. I've got to say, as much as I think PSG and Barcelona are very good, I don't think Bayern are that good. I really don't. They're having a pretty bang average season as well. So... They're there for the taking. They're top of their Champions League group by, well, by distance. Uh, goodbye. Militidis, we're in. Maybe for two. Militidis going through. He's got to score. Would Diallo have finished it? Maybe. We'll see. We'll probably see him against Bayern instead of Militidis, who recent games actually has done all right. He's going to demand a little more. I mean, Barca on the attack again. What a ball. Felix there. The movements have run off my back line. He's so good. I'm admiring the play of another side, which, you know, unlike me, viewers. Usually I'm just filled with hate and anger, but not today. I'm. It's Barcelona. And also... I'd quite like to be manager of Barcelona at some point in this series. I guess the problem is, what if we don't win the things I need to win at the end of this season? I mean, I'm, I, what I've got to do is a domestic double, viewers. And right now, that's not looking that likely, is it? As the ball's played in, they go close again. I'm going to get Diallo on. I'm actually going to bring Pedroca on for Kabay as well. As uh, Diallo and him then make their way onto the field. 15 minutes to go. Um, I'm still, I'm still pretty happy. We're not creating that much in this second half, although we are still having more of the ball. And that is obviously restricting Barcelona to a degree. Because we've had more possession, they're obviously not able to do quite as much with it. Although when they come forward every single time, viewers, I am petrified. Ball to the back stick. Clement with a good save. And defensively, we've done well. Although actually, it's going to be a goal kick. I'm going to praise them. I don't know what they'll make of that at 2-1 down. But I'm actually quite pleased. As we're on the ball here. Of course, again, possession is the key. We're playing at a slightly quicker tempo. We've got width on either side. And this sort of right here is, is what we're looking for. Is Pedro Rocha, who's obviously playing a similar role to goodbye. Victor Hugo, pull it back. Ugh, cleared behind. Close, though. And again, decent. Positivity, viewers, is the key here. And that's, that's what I've decided. And if I lose 3-0 to Bayern Munich, this, this attitude will... A little disintegrate. So that's something to look forward to. All right, not long left to go. I guess we'll go attacking, although we've, we've locked up third position, so I'm happy with that. And um, against Barcelona, I, that looks like I should be unhappy, but I'm actually not. I think that's pretty good. Six of our seven shots have been on target. We've had more possession. And I don't know. I think for where we are, that's not that bad. I'm going to say unlucky. You know, it would be nice to him, but it wasn't to be. They've gained confidence from that. They seem relaxed. And with three days' time, Barcelona uh, beaten. And now, on to Bayern. Barcelona beaten. I've actually, like, Milan have beaten Bayern as well. So, they're rubbish. I was calling. I've been calling this. Years. Is it fair to say I figured it all out? No, because I've just lost a game. But, slowly, we're, we're coming up with something. Am I, am I designing that? Because of how many people are struggling with the diamond, are struggling with that attacking midfield role, I want to be the man to fix it all, viewers. That's me. I showed over the streamer showdown that given time, I can I can figure out any tactic. Well, apart from the default ones that FM have come up with. All right, in the context of the season, this game this game's pretty big. We can't really afford to lose this. After Bayern have done us a favour by beating Schalke, we now need to beat Bayern to push them further down and put ourselves right in that conversation again. And our record against Bayern has been... I'll call it mixed, viewers. It's been better with Leipzig than it has with Dortmund, to be fair. So, I don't know. Is that something to take away? All right, then, gang. Welcome back. A few changes uh, to freshen things up in the team. Adriano comes back in goal. Uh, Wagyu's at right back. We've got Flissner at left back. Castillo and... Shouting, it's all right, boss. I'm not. It's not gonna. I'm not gonna do that today. I promise. What's changed? What's changed? Some of the comments of uh, I've been saying shouting. I think they're mocking me. They've been going. They've been doing shouting in caps, and I can't. It's, it's. It's not. I just. I'm not doing it for that reason. Okay. Everything. Everything all right? Just everything all right? Yeah, everything's fine. I just. I'm struggling to handle the fame, to be honest, Ben. That's all right. Shout on it. It happens, you know. Good. Good luck today. Thanks, boss. What's the point? What's the what is the point? Uh, Kessie will play further ahead then with Friss and Kabay in the centre. Chris Tell comes in to play alongside Diallo and Victor Hugo up front, who I think offer us the most amount of threat. Here we go then. Game time. B Bayern Munich at home. We can do this. I've got to believe, viewers. I've got to believe that that performance against Barcelona would be enough to beat this. We're not even there yet. Our right, other results. Uh, Schalke got themselves a win and Dortmund haven't played yet. But here we are then. 
This is the moment. All the songs were sad, all the songs were sad until I came to love you, etc. Remember that? Remember there, the soundtrack? Yeah, weird, wasn't it? It was weird. Come on, lads. Show me what you can do to keep this run going. And uh, I've got faith in you. I think, look, positive attitude, positive mental mindset. Come on. All right, then. I've got the pen ready. I've got the pad. I'm on a fresh page, viewers. So I'm ready for I'm ready for notes. All right, the first highlight of the game is us giving it away. But Friss does brilliantly to get back. That's the, that's the stamina, viewers, right there. That is the stamina. Of course, this team could quite look slightly different. Clever could come in, maybe even for buy if we decide to drop him but with a player that expensive as Chris Turl by the way has done magnificently well goes for goal himself Chris Turl he's here viewers he's arrived it's gonna be Bayern next though with the ball and we're pressing quite urgently and oh Turl's done brilliantly to win it back now as he races in on goal he's got options to his left hand side goes for goal so unfortunate I think it's cannon off the bar cannon off the goalkeeper as uh as Wagyu at right back has got a bit of an injury he's had a few of these and he's on a booking I'm not going to waste any time. Marcus Paolo is going to come on. This is becoming a bit of an issue with Wagyu. I didn't realise he was quite so injury prone. I'm hoping it doesn't change too much as uh, Louis Jean on that side. Frisch puts in the initial tackle, but he does carry on as our, uh, our pressure on the ball so far has been really, really good. Bayern, though, get past one. Adriano does a good save. Can't quite keep it out for behind for, for, the, for, the, uh, for the corner, sorry. But um, yeah, makes the save. And that's the important bit. As uh, I've just realised we're not looking at the right part of the league table. You can see there, the point here does good things for us. But where, how is Schalke good again? This has happened before and it's happening again. Schalke just go on these cycles of being really good. Late corner for Bayern. Not like this. 90 seconds to go in the half. And not like this, viewers. Not like this. They've hit the post. Adriano had it covered all the way. He, d he definitely didn't have it covered all the way. Now, as first half goes, that's interesting. We've not had as much possession, but we've certainly created a little bit more. All right, keep it going out there. You can still win this one. Bayern have been good on the ball, but our pressure on the ball, we saw it from Chris Turl, has been really good. Let's just keep it up then. Let's just do that more, please. Do that more. I will take them having more of the ball if it means we create something with this midfield. Diallo on a 6.5. He's having a quiet one. Half an hour to go. We're going to get him off. Militilis has done decent in recent weeks. We're going to get him on again. And actually, I'm going to make him an advanced forward. That, uh, or maybe I'm going to actually get him on as a pressing forward. I mean, that might be bold. So our press has been really good. If he focuses on doing that, then maybe there'll just be a chance for us somewhere along the line. Some of our boys are looking nervous. I think Kleber's going to come in here for goodbye. Kleber is a natural in the Mazala role. So let's get him in there and see how he does. 20 minutes left. Is there going to be a chance for someone? Ball's played forward by Bayern, and uh, my main man is going to get there. Shout and picks it up, goes back into Adriano, back to Castillo, and that was lovely. And now Fleissner with space out wide, and people have been saying the width of the fullbacks is important as he comes inside with it this time. Kessi to Friss, and uh, this is nice possession from us as we're just trying to find a way through. You're looking at it. It's going to be out wide, isn't it? Surely that's where the chance is going to come from, unless Chris Turl can turn on the magic. As uh, Yeah, there we are, out wide finally. Fleissner now, of course, either footed. Victor Hugo, referee! Is it a pen? Is it a pen? VAR? I mean, he's blown the whistle. He's consulting VAR. It's a penalty. Oh, oh, it's a corner. It's not a penalty. I saw the word penalty. It's not a penalty. It's a great tackle. Fair enough. Write that down, Ben. Not a penalty. Corner played in. I thought it was a penalty. That's the first time that's ever happened to me. Where VAR has, has, has done me. There's a free kick for Bayern. Oh, my. If that if had flown in, there'd have been tears. Ten minutes left to go. Gomez, corner, played in. Bayern still going. Victor Hugo with that initial clearance. As they come again. It's on the edge of the box this time. Gomez again picks it up. Of course, decent delivery from him. Played in. And oh, my God. What a save. Gordon Banks. Adriano has made an incredible save. Ten minutes to go. Wow. I'm going to demand more from our boys. They're focused after that. Final few minutes. Is there going to be one in this? One of the most exciting nil-nil draws, viewers, I'm ever going to have in my whole life, I think. And it's going to take us into second. I'd take it. Start of the year, if you said you, you won't lose to Bayern, I'd have taken it. And I know today's this funny, really. Today's performances have been a defeat to Barcelona and a draw to Bayern Munich. And I'm sitting here with a smile on my face. It's a weird one. I think it's important to win those games, but it's more important not to lose them. It really is. And it puts a second. Bayern still then uh, five points behind. But well, that's the problem right now. Schalke... Five points behind them, and that's where the battle's going to come from. We drew with them earlier this season, and of course, we play them uh, later on. We play them next, actually, probably February, the January period. I think Schalke will be our next meeting, them and, uh, and Bofeld in the Cup. That seems most logical to me. Uh, the Europa League, of course, we'll start focusing on. We need that trophy, remember? That might be where things lie, of course. Next episode, will bring you what happened in January, as well as those games then in the Cup and League. 
big games as well. The episodes are ramping up. Thank you for watching, gang. If you've enjoyed it, please leave a like. Again, tactical chat, still get involved. Do you think the changes have made are right? Do you, were you impressed with what you saw from the boys? I, I'm relatively happy with what actually happened. So hopefully against the lesser sides, that's the sort of time we can uh, we can get some points on the board. Four winnable league games, as you can see, they're actually coming up. So uh, if you enjoyed the video, please do drop a like on it. Want to see some more? Make sure you are subscribed and check out that uh, video on the streamer showdown after this. Uh, yeah, shout out to Dave as a party in the Wishroom FM boys, especially Joe over there as well, who did a fantastic job. And I'll see you again very, very soon. We love with care. Goodbye. There'll be another streamer showdown as well. So if you missed the first one, get involved in the next one.